Welcome to Graphic Island. In today's video, you'll learn how to create print ready pouch packaging design. So let's get started. First, we need to do the printing page setup. Go to File, New, and change the unit to centimeter. We need to artboard for the back and the front design. And in width, give 4.2, in height, give 9 centimeter now under the advanced option here we'll choose the printing color that is cmyk in raster effect we'll choose 300 ppi and now click on create we are done with the page setup before i continue with the next step i'd like to thank you and better element website for sponsoring this video I'd also like to thank you all the subscribers who have shown their support to Graphic Island. Let's continue with the next step. Let's add the safe zone to our design. So from the toolbar, take this rectangular tool and click over the artboard. Here give the same resolution we have given while set up the page. From this resolution, we'll subtract 0.4 both from width and the height. This will form the safe zone of our design. Now align it horizontally and vertically center. Let's add the bleeding section to our design. So from the toolbar take this rectangular tool and click here. Here also give the same resolution we have given while doing the page setup. And from that resolution we'll add 0.5 cm both in width and the height. And this will form the bleeding section of our design. Now align it horizontally and vertically center. Let's remove the outline of the rectangle and give a fill color. And send this to back. Now select them and drag it using Alt can make a duplicate. Here select this artboard, select those elements and align it horizontally and vertically center. Now let's name both the artboard as front and the back. Now select the save zone line and lock it so that it will not disturb while we are designing over it. Now from the toolbar take this pan tool and on the first artboard here draw a curved line. After drawing the curve line, if you think that your curve is not smoother, take a smooth tool and move over it. Now drag the curve using Alt can make a duplicate. Now take direct selection tool, select the curve point and manipulate it. Drag it using Alt key and make one more duplicate. Take direct selection tool, select the unsure point and make the curve in parallel. By using a smooth tool, move over it and make the curve smoother. Now select them, take shape builder tool, pick color from here and create shapes. Now select those extended lines out from the design and delete them. Take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle. Fill this with color. Drag the rectangle using Alt key and make a duplicate and place it here. Now by using text tool, fill up the design with necessary details. So here I am doing it little faster now because it's about the information and the text. Here draw a straight line and make the line thicker by increasing the stroke from here. Drag the text using Alt can make a duplicate. Reduce the size and edit the text here. Write more details about the product and the company. Now 
now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle inside this rectangle we'll write the product composition and check out the rectangle either it is aligned with the text or not and now change the color to white and here give a stroke now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle change the color now select the rectangle and expand it after expanding ungroup it now select the outer line and change the color and here add some text about this table by using text tool here we'll add the composition of the product drag it using alt can make a duplicate Now from the toolbar take ellipse tool and here draw a circle. Drag the circle using alt key and make a duplicate. Similarly keep mode duplicate of the circle here. Add more details about the company and the product. These are the details will be provided by the customer. You just need to know how to arrange it properly and uh, where to place those texts within the design now let's change the color for this one and let's transfer the same color to the second artboard now it looks perfect now from the nbeto element website let's download COVID related icons which will be perfectly fit for this product in this website you will find all the necessary graphic design elements to download so let me download these icons and here create the license for the file add and download now open the downloaded zip folder open the design and from here let's pick the perfect icon and bring it here similarly let's pick another icon from here and drag it to our artboard let's remove this one now make the size smaller and place within our design let's unlock the save zone and bring them to the front and place the icons within the save zone area now let's search for the barcode download this one here create the license add and download open the zip folder and the file drag this to our artboard and leave it here drag it down make the size smaller and align it at the center here add the barcode details
select this one and here we'll apply the gradient color in gradient color you can mix up two or more colors together now take gradient tool and fix the color angle now it is perfect now transfer the same color here change the color for the text select them and change the color Now let's find a perfect logo for the product. So here in Anbeto element, you'll find all kinds of logo to be downloaded. Let's download this one. Here create the license. Add and download. So we'll download one more logo from here let's download this one again create the license add the license and download the file now open both the zip folder one by one and add the icons to our design let's add some information to this logo so this is not a logo design tutorial so i'm doing it first here and bring the logo and place it here and here you can rearrange the text like this now select the save john and hide it so our design is ready now let's save it one by one select the first artboard go to the file save for web and here give a name and save it now select the second artboard go to file export as save for web and here give the name and save it after exporting our design now we need to download mockup file so here in anbeto element we'll search for pouch mockup and let's find a nicer mockup to make a realistic presentation of our design product So all kinds of premium mockups are available in Anbeto Element website to download with license. Let's download this one. Here create the license, add and download. Let's download one more mockup. create the license and download 
now open the download folder here is a Photoshop file let's open it now in Photoshop open the design go to the mockup tab and click over the smart layer a new tab will be open now drag our design to the new tab of the mockup and leave it here here fit our design within the mockup page now mark it unmark the mockup background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied once mockup will process here you can see the result similarly let's apply our design to this mockup open our design drag the design to the new tab of the mockup and leave it here here fit our design within the mockup page mark it unmark the background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied similarly for the back design here we'll drag our back design and fit within the page and here is the second 3d realistic view of our design this way you can give presentation to your design and you can easily impress your customer as well. And Better Element website link is given on the description as well as in comment section. You can visit their website and you can download unlimitedly all the premium product with license. Hope you understand how to create print ready pouch packaging design using Adobe Illustrator CC. And here I am Abul Mansur. Wish you all the best. See you next video. Have a nice day.